Without a doubt, there is no nicer smell in your home and particularly in the kitchen than fresh baked bread. Now, if you're going to be making bread dough from scratch, there's a lot of science involved. And I always find one of the nicer shortcuts is to use an electric bread machine. These are super simple to operate, but the most important thing is read your instructional manual. Get to know your machine a little bit and make sure that you understand exactly how it works so you'll have great results every single time. The second step you want to make sure that you do when you're making bread in a bread machine is make sure that all of your ingredients are nice and fresh. Using fresh eggs and fresh milk and butter and making sure that they're as fresh as they can be will result in a nicer, brighter flavor and you'll know that the end result is going to taste great. And then you want to take a little bit of time making sure that the bread recipe that you're using is appropriate for the size machine you have. The last thing you want to do is have too much dough and have it bake up and over and out of the pot, or you want to make sure that you have enough room for the bread to knead. Now, what we're going to do today is make a really simple white bread recipe. But what we'll do first is get busy by programming the machine and getting it ready for a basic white bread. Now, with this particular machine, first we're going to choose our loaf size. We can choose a one, one and a half, or a two pound loaf. What we've done here is we've chosen a two pound loaf. Secondly, there are 12 different bread settings. We're gonna choose one for basic, which is a basic white bread. And then finally, you're choosing the color of your crust. Would you like it to be light, medium, or dark? We've chosen medium. Now let's get busy with the ingredients. If you are making this bread dough by hand, there are lots of rules you have to be very careful about. You should never let yeast come in contact with salt or the liquid because it'll activate the yeast too soon in the process. But the nice thing about a bread machine, as soon as you turn this on, it's going to mix immediately. So you really don't have to worry too much about those rules. The bread machine is very forgiving and will take care of all of the heavy lifting. So here are your ingredients. We're going to begin with four cups of bread flour. Next, we're going to add in our salt, then the sugar, and add your warm water. Now, the water should be at least 80 degrees because you want that warm water to help activate the yeast. We add in a little oil, and then finally, always make sure your yeast is very fresh and add that in, and as soon as it's inside, Close the lid, press start, and the machine does the rest of the work. This loaf will take about three hours to bake, and in no time at all, your house will fill with that wonderful aroma. And of course, when that bread comes out of the oven, it's ready for some delicious fresh creamery butter and your favorite jam. Now that the machine is into its bread cycle, where it's kneading the bread dough, allowing it to rise, kneading it again, and then beginning the baking process, you can begin to think about getting a little creative. This particular machine has a beeping sound, and when that beeping sound goes off, you could add some other ingredients to make the bread even more special. Think about adding things like dried fruit. You could also do nuts, and even chocolate chips can make a great dessert bread. The most important thing to do, get that in before the baking process begins so it can be incorporated into the dough, and then you have something really beautiful, tasty, and aromatic when it's all done. So now the baking cycle is completed and it smells fantastic in here. Let's go ahead and take the bread out. Now, the first thing to remember is that this is very hot inside, so you'll need a nice dishcloth or an oven mitt. Pull that up and out. I like to lay it on its side on the cutting board. That way I can reposition and grab this from the bottom and then just scoot it right out so you can slice. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. Now, the best rule of thumb, slice this after it comes out and get some butter on there right away so it gets nice and melty. There's nothing nicer than waking up to fresh bread or serving it with your dinner. Beautiful texture.